Hello everybody, it is your girl Bria Van Kooten and I am back with a new video. As you guys can read by the title, I am here for another unboxing, another luxury unboxing. Like I said, I've been shopping, so I'm finally showing you guys what I have been buying in these past couple of months. So if you guys want to see the bag that I got, the color that I got, definitely stay tuned. Alright guys, so as you guys can see by the title, I got me a Prada bag. Prada bag, Prada bag, Brooklyn bag, Brooklyn bag, Louis bag, Louis bag, GJ, G swag. I got me a Prada bag. I have been wanting a Prada bag for a while now. And it was just up to me deciding which one I wanted. We had the Nyla Safiano, Safiano one. We had just a regular like tote bag we have the messenger bags Prada has a variety of different bags but then one day I was scrolling on the Prada website and I saw this small mini bag with the chain on it basically it was a smaller version of the Prada nylon nylon bag with the big bag and then it has like the little utility piece on top that you can put things in it that looks like a little coin purse so they, that was the mini bag is the smaller version of that. I did want the Safiano one at first when it like first came out, but then so many people got it and I was just like, no, I'm that person that once I see too many people with something, I don't want it anymore because <laughs> it's too oversaturated. So I love exclusive. I love things that, of course, you're going to have some things where people are going to have similar to you, but once it's an abundance of people, I'm like, mm. I don't want it so I saw the mini bag and the mini bag was even cuter I love mini bags which I'm like it doesn't really hold a lot of things but it's so cute and so small and the little chain detailing was just chef's kiss I love it so I saw it it was sold out at that same time my brother wanted some Prada sneakers so we ended up going into the Prada store to see if the sneakers that he wanted was there unfortunately they weren't there at that time so but I ended up being cool with a sales associate at Prada named Michelle and we became real cool I was messaging her texting her so when my brother's shoes came in she messaged me she told me so he was able to buy that and at that same time I was like hey do you guys have this mini bag she said they didn't have it but if they do come in with more she will let me know so I think about a couple weeks later she messaged me and she was like okay hey Bria we got the mini bag so i was like oh my god can you hold it for me because it was like a tuesday and i wouldn't be able to get back oh no it was like a tuesday or wednesday and i was like i wouldn't be able to get to the product store until next wednesday so she held it for me for a whole week shout out to michelle <laughs> so i was cool two associates michelle and rich they are always really helpful they were really helpful so ended up going to the product store getting the mini bag and we got the shopper bag right here after this, I don't need any more mini bags. I have enough mini bags. I have this and I have my Jacquemus and I have some other like mini bags from other places, but I have enough. All right now, I'm just trying to get like medium bags and big body bags because I'm like, girl, these mini bags, like I said, it holds but so much. So you're spending money on stuff that can't really hold anything, but it's just the look and it's so super super cute so the bag that I did get was the re-edition nylon mini shoulder bag it comes in a multitude of colors I saw an orange a blue a yellow a creamish and the black version and Kylie actually bought stormy nylon re-edition mini bags and I'm like oh my god so cute because they're mini so they just look so cute on her and stormy's already adorable and she's little she's a little fashionista so it already looks super cute on her so I already wanted it and then I saw stormy with it I'm like oh I'm gonna be matching with stormy like <laughs> super 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 cute so I think partially that's probably one of the reasons that it was sold out because Stormy ended up getting every color like Kylie said she brought her every single color so she got all the colors basically so 
it probably is why it even sold out in the first place. But luckily, I have my essay, Michelle, and she held it down for me. So we got the Prada box. As you guys can see right here, we got this dark blue box with the silver writing that says Prada right here. And then of course we have our receipt. Always comes in this cool. I love luxury because it's just all about the packaging, how they package everything, how everything comes. You got this little like folder in with the receipt. Like it's the quality for me. So that's what I love. Another reason, another thing of added on to shopping luxury, like you get the quality. That's what I really, really love. So I found out, because when I went in, the other sales associate that I work with named Rich, he told me that this was, there was this was the last one. This was the only one left, and it was a sample. It was a sample bag. No one has ever touched it, tried it on, or anything. It was the last one, sample, and they held it for me. Like, I was like, oh, I feel so special. The exclusiveness. Like, I love it. I stand. You guys can see it is small because you see this little box. <laughs> and we have the Prada paper right here. We open it up and then we got the dust bag. I have worn this bag before, so surprise, surprise. I bought this bag. Let's look at the date. I bought this bag February 10th, so it's now April 30th. So I've had this bag since February, so of course I wore it. But this is the dust bag in this nice white woolly material with the Prada logo and then the white drawstrings. Open it like so. And let's see the bag again. Y'all see the chain detailing? Ooh. Ah, it's so freaking cute. So cute. So cute. And this bag actually does fit more than the Jacquemus. Like, I can actually fit my phone in here. And I have the iPhone 11 Pro. Once I take off my case, I can fit my phone, I can fit my cards, I can fit my lip gloss, I can fit my ear pods. So this definitely fits way more than the Jacquemus. I can't even fit my phone in my Jacquemus bag because <laughs> it's mini, obviously. And then we open it like so. It has the zip. We open it and then we have a longer black string. So then you can hook it across and make like a crossbody bag. So, so you can wear it as a crossbody like so, or you can just wear it with the chain detailing, or you can take the chain detailing off and just wear this part. So I like how customizable it is. And of course it's still in the utility family. It just, it gives very utility. And yeah, it is the nylon material. Obviously I said it is the nylon re-edition mini shoulder bag. I've been wanting, like I said, a Prada bag for a while. I just love their like nylon material. I just wanted a nylon bag. <laughs> so love that I have this. I definitely want to invest in like a ready to wear piece, a clothing piece of Prada because their clothing pieces are really dope, especially like their nylon pants, nylon skirts, nylon dresses, nylon jackets. Maybe when fall comes around, I'll definitely probably invest in like a ready to wear piece. But I got my first Prada piece to the luxury collection this is my first product piece of many more and my brother did end up getting his sneakers if you guys were wondering with the story he did end up getting his sneakers and i got my bag so we both got our, our product piece so let me tell you guys the price so originally but first as if you don't know designer stuff raise in price the better it does, the longer it's in stock, it raises in price. So when I first saw this bag, I believe this bag was around $400. So $400 and then with tax, it probably would be like five something when I first, first, first saw the bag. Then when I finally was about to purchase it, it went up to $650. And then with tax, I ended up paying $707.74. Yeah. One thing with designer and luxury items, the prices always go up. Like I said, once it's a popular item, once it's doing well, once it's in the market for a while, the price jumps. Even if I wanted to sell this bag, I can still pretty much make back what I bought it for, honestly, because it's going for more. It's going for like $1,200, so I can probably make back the same or more of what I paid for it, which is crazy crazy because that's just how the luxury bag industry works so 
Got my Prada Mini, super excited. I'm answered a picture of me wearing it and what I styled it with so you guys can see, but I'm excited to style it in more ways and wear it more ways. And I just love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. If it's available, cause it's been sold out. Like I said, I got this one luckily because of my essay. Shout out to them, shout out to Michelle, and shout out to Rich, but it is hard to get. But they do have other options. They have like a mini leather one. So I'll probably, if I can find this, I'll link it down below and I will also link the leather ones. It comes in like these pastel colors, pink, blue, and like a tan color. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Like I almost put this back and got that one instead because the colors were so nice and pastel-y. But I was like, nah, I really, really do want this. And a black bag, you can't go wrong with a black bag. You can wear this with anything. So I will try to link this down below and I will also link the pastel colors down below if you guys are interested. But that is it for this video. If you liked it, you already know, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know what you think. Do you have this bag? Do you want it? Let me know what product bag do you have. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And go check out my previous videos. I did my Oscars fashion review. I did a couple hauls. Another um, luxury unboxing. You know, let's get into my other videos. Go check them out. Follow me on my social medias at Bria Van Kooten, my Instagram and my Twitter. And check out my blog, www.briavankooten.com. Also, one more thing, for the month of May, June, and July, yes, the next three months, I'm going to be posting three times a week. Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays. Three times a week, so you'll be seeing my face more, <laughs> more fashion content, and we'll probably sprinkle in some music content here and there because I never know when new music or music videos are dropping. So definitely Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and you might see me on other days because a music video might drop on a Saturday. You might see me on a Saturday. A music, a new song might drop on a Tuesday. You might see me on a Tuesday. <laughs> so you will never know, but for sure you will see me Monday, Wednesday, Friday in may june and july so stay tuned for that we boosting up this content all right we boosting up this content we bringing in growth we're bringing bringing in abundance we're bringing in prosperity all right so i will see you guys in my next video i hope you guys have an amazing weekend and stay blessed peace love